I'm Mike Yuyak. I love to try new things, and I've had culinary adventures all around the world, as well as right at home. I've had really wonderful food, as well as some really horrible food. I'd like to share some of my adventures with you, and we'll see if I have what it takes to fix whatever goes wrong. This is Recipe Redemption. Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome to this episode of Recipe Redemption. I'm feeling like I'd like a little bit of comfort food. Um, and not necessarily, you know, comfort food in like something that I've had a hundred times before, but, but something comforting. So I kind of dug through the recipe files looking for, you know, a nice hearty soup. And instead I found this. A Reuben sandwich in a bowl. <sighs> Guess we gotta try it. Now, I note in the recipe it, it calls for either fully cooked uh, corned beef brisket uh, chopped up or two and a half cups of chopped deli franks. Okay, because nothing says Reuben sandwich like hot dogs. I don't know what the folks at Better Homes and Gardens were thinking, but whatever. I actually had a hard time. I went to the store and I couldn't find uh, corned beef. Uh, they didn't have it in the deli. They didn't have it in the, you know, sliced luncheon meat aisle, whatever. Uh, they did not have a brisket prepared with, you know, actually kind of like pickling in the, in the, in the, the corning mixture um, anywhere. So I am going to have to modify this recipe a little bit just to get some of that sort of peppery corned beef flavor back into uh, the regular roast beef that I got. That's the closest thing. I, I thought about getting pastrami, but that's, just a, that's still a little different from corned beef. I think I just got the regular roast beef, which is not brisket, but it's what I got. And I'm going to adjust the spicing to kind of take it further in that corned beef direction. Uh, everything else is fairly straightforward. I have my doubts. But let's see. I'm going to start off with the spice mix. And if I haven't said it enough times, I will say it one more time. Use a dedicated spice grinder for your spices. Don't just use any coffee grinder or you might end up with, I don't know, fennel seeds in your coffee one day might not be ideal. So I have juniper berries, black peppercorns, garlic powder, onion powder, and kosher salt in here. There's a reminder, spices only, no coffee. Grind that up until it's nice and fine. That looks pretty good. And add that to my sliced up roast beef. And here we go. And ta-da, I have corned beef. Sort of, not really. Uh, it wasn't actually cured with these pickling or these uh, corning spices and pepper. Um, so it's not really corned beef, but it's going to get me close. So I take this meat once I have it all nice and tossed together and the flavors get to know each other a little bit. I toss it in a pot with some chicken stock, sauerkraut, some chopped onion, and I have a little extra garlic and onion powder there because I felt like it, and a bay leaf. Oh yes, thyme and tarragon as well. And I bring that to a simmer. After 30 minutes, I add a cornstarch slurry, probably about a teaspoon worth of cornstarch in some water, and stir continuously to make sure you don't get any lumps, and just continue heating that until it thickens, at which point, I'm also going to add some shredded carrot. A little bit of color, a little bit of sweetness. Stir that to combine. And let that heat back up, probably another couple of minutes. At which time I add some Swiss cheese. Stir that around. 
I'm not too concerned about the fact that this is going to be kind of stretchy because that's sort of the nature of a Reuben sandwich anyway. Uh, we're not making a fondue, so you are going to get sort of strands of cheese through this. And finally, after the cheese has mostly melted, I'm adding in about a quarter cup of heavy cream to add the richness to the soup. So here we are, cream of Reuben soup. It is creamy, and I will garnish with some rye croutons. Basically the rye bread that I would have thrown this onto as a sandwich. I just cut up into cubes and toasted. Plain. Um, I don't think it needs any additional seasoning or anything like that on the croutons. Just to give it a little something. It's not bad. I don't know that there's... Let me just get a little bit more of the beef here. Mm. It's actually pretty tasty. Um, the flavors are a little more subtle. Even all of the additional spicing that I added to kind of turn it into really corn beef um ish <laughs> um even with all of that the flavors are actually a lot more subtle than i was expecting um there is a little bit of tang from you know the vinegar uh, from the sauerkraut um a little bit of zippiness from the spicing from the beef um the only thing i'm kind of missing the one component of Reuben sandwiches that kind of sort of ties all the flavors together for me is the Thousand Island dressing. You know, some people call it Reuben sauce, but it ends up being Thousand Island dressing. Um, and the components of that didn't go into this. So there's a certain uh, tomatoey sweetness that I kind of expect from a Reuben. The creaminess is there, but... Um, I think it needs a little something, a little ketchup. Yes, I'm doing this just a little bit and just for giggles, clean off my spoon. About a half teaspoon dill relish. I'm going to stir that up real good. <laughs> Ooh, it does not want to incorporate. There we go. Obviously, it would be better to actually cook this uh, with the tomato, probably. Instead of ketchup, probably like... Um, some actual some tomato sauce. Well, maybe the ketchup. I mean, there's already the vinegar from the sauerkraut, so I don't think it's going to really throw that off. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Reuben sandwich really does need that Thousand Island on it. Um, I would tend to make this a little bit thicker. The proportions are a little funny. Um, just because I'm trying to make a, just one serving, uh, the, the recipe as printed makes eight servings and I wasn't sure I was going to want some, but I think, I think I'm going to actually end up making a full, um, a full recipe of this at some point. Because mm. it is surprisingly good. So on that bombshell, <laughs> I'd like to thank you for watching. If you have any other recipes that you'd like me to try on this channel, please be sure to let me know. Drop me a line, leave a comment in the video below, something like that, and I may just do a video on it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you want to be notified when I post new videos in the future, don't forget to hit that little bell down below. That'll uh, notify you by email, I think. Um, 
every time I post something new. So until next time, I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll see you here again on Recipe Redemption.